Coming to you from 50 Oliver, this is Easton News, and my name is Joseph Taft. And I'm Jack Ryan. Today is Friday, May 10th, 2024. Easton's PMC Bikeathon for Kids will be on Saturday, May 25th from 9 a.m. through 11.30 a.m. This event is for kids ages 2 through 15. Register with the link below. Once you are registered, please check your email for further updates. The Easton Health and Community Services Department is seeking qualified candidates for lifeguards for the following 2024 season at the town pool. Interested applicants need to submit the required employment application to Human Resources Coordinator Mary Southworth at jobs at easton.ma.us or by mail at the Easton Town Offices, 136 Elm Street in Easton, Mass. Applications will be accepted on a rolling basis. The Easton Police Department is participating in the Voluntary Blue Envelope Program. Drivers with Autism Spectrum Disorder are given these envelopes which hold their license, registration, and an emergency contact. The goal of these envelopes is to provide the police officers with critical communication guidelines on the exterior of the envelope to assist them in recognizing and adapting their approach when interacting with individuals with autism. These envelopes are available at the police department's front desk. On the second Saturday in May, the Easton Food Pantry will be having their Letter Carriers Food Drive. The National Association of Letter Carriers Food Drive is the biggest food drive of the year and they need your help. Simply leave a bag of non-perishable food next to your mailbox on Saturday, May 14th, and your letter carrier will handle the rest. All donated food will be donated to the Easton Food Pantry. Not sure what items to donate though? Visit the link below to find out more. Veteran and Easton native Rose McPherson is the next artist on display at Town Hall. Rose is an emerging artist who recently left the corporate world behind and launched her new business, Rosie Rose Rising Art. She graduated from Oliver Ames High School in 2006 and served with the Massachusetts Army National Guard in Iraq in 2009. Rose's artwork reflects her sunny personality but also offers insight into her experience serving in Iraq in Operation Iraqi Freedom. Check out her artwork on front of Town Hall at 136 Elm Street. To learn more about the Artist on Display initiative, visit the link below. Join We Do Care for an unforgettable evening at the fourth annual We Do Care Healing Heart Gala on June 8th. Step into a world of compassion and empowerment as they come together to support our warriors and teens on their journey toward healing. At this remarkable event, they aim to raise $50,000 to further the mission of providing solace and strength to those navigating grief and loss. This event will be at the Canoe Club Ballroom located at 2 South Street in West Bridgewater, 02379. The American Legion Post 7 is having their May 2024 poppy drive. Post 7 will be accepting donations and in return hand out a poppy which is symbolic of the American Legion. It will take place on Friday and Saturday of May 24th and 25th at the Dunkin' Donuts in the Northeastern Village Shoppers from 6 a.m. through 4 p.m. The American Legion poppy is based from the poem In Flanders Field and was originally written about the deaths of veterans during World War I. The poem echoes the sentiment of all veterans. The poppy is a tangible symbol in memory and remembrance of the fallen and past veterans and loved ones. Family members and friends of veterans who make a donation will receive a poppy which is symbolic of the American Legion Post 7 uses donations to fund and sponsor many youth programs. Post 7 scholarship program at the high school for high school seniors and boys and girls state at Stonehill College for high school juniors, American Legion team, Post 7, junior ROTC, and other worthy programs. Easton Middle School and their Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Parent Advisory Council are seeking volunteers for their Exploring Cultures of Easton Day on Thursday, June 6th from 9 a.m. until 12 p.m. at Easton Middle School. If you're interested, please make sure you have an active Cori with EPS. To submit your interest to volunteer, fill out the Google form, which is in the link below. Still no time to stay up and watch your favorite shows? Like this one, obviously? Don't forget, ECAT has a YouTube channel. There, you can find all old episodes, but make sure to turn on notifications to be alerted when ECAT releases new content. You don't want to miss out. Our handle is at EastonCatTV with TV in capital letters, of course. Last weekend, the NRT had their Spring Farm Fest. We were there to check out all the action. Morning. We're here at the NRT of Easton Sheep Pasture. We are at the uh, Spring Farm Festival. My name is Dennis Lindgren. I'm the president of the NRT. Uh, having a great time here today. The weather is beautiful. We've got a million little kids running around, lots of vendors, food to be had, uh, live music, toys and uh, games for the kids. Uh, we're having a great time. 
This is our bookend event, so we start with Spring Farm Fest and then we wrap up with Harvest Fair in October. So please come out and see us and uh, we're always here for you. Thanks. Do you know an Easton resident or an organization that benefits the community? Do you or someone you know have a special talent or a skill set that you would like to show off to your community? Well, ECAD has numerous shows and segments that may be a good fit for you. ECAD has always represented the talent and diversity of the people of Easton, and we want to highlight you. Email info at EastonCat.org to let us know what you want to see on our channels. We want to hear from you. The Easton Garden Club is having their annual spring plant sale on Saturday, May 11th, 2024 from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. It will be held at Yardley Rink, 388 Depot Street in Easton. They'll be selling perennials, herbs, vegetables, annuals, and house plants. Come meet members of the Garden Club and have a fun time gardening. Your support helps the Easton Garden Club beautify the community and fund their scholarship opportunities. Join We Do Care in making this Mother's Day extraordinary. They need your help to collect at least 25 items each of new beach towels, sunglasses, ladies swim cover-ups, summer inspirational quotes, hats, and caps that exude relaxation. Help make a positive impact on the lives of women and make this spring and summer unforgettable. You may ship your items directly to the address listed on your screen. Want to get involved in an exciting race around historic Northeastern? Well, apply to be on Expedition Easton, a local version of The Amazing Race produced by ECAT. This summer, six pairs, 12 contestants will get the chance to compete for the grand prize. All ages are welcome, but each pair must have one member over 18 years old, and you must have a car. Think you've got what it takes to complete the expedition? Email info at eastoncat.org or call us 508-230-7200. Dates are set for June 22nd, 23rd, 29th, and 30th. The Easton's Human Rights Committee is pleased to be bringing Pride 2024 to Easton. Please join them for some fr family-friendly fun and a celebration of their LGBTQ plus community, their social and self-acceptance, achievements, legal rights, and pride. This event is intended to provide a safe and inclusive environment for all LGBTQ plus youth, families, and allies, and strives to promote equality, respect, and awareness within our town and beyond. Pride activities will continue to be announced leading up to the event. Music, games, and activities are free. Food and vendor items are available for purchase. Families are encouraged to bring picnic blankets to enjoy lunch outdoors. For everyone's safety, no pets are allowed in the area during the event. Interested in volunteering? You can email humanrights at easton.ma.us to find out more. After the break, after the break, find out who is this week's Pet of the Week. And some exciting events happening at the Ames Free Library, so let's take a look. sprung at the Ames Free Library. A new crop of special programs is in bloom this month alongside our regular offerings. Thanks to the generous support of the Mass Cultural Council and the Friends of the Library, we're excited to bring a very special program to the community. On Thursday, May 16th at 6 p.m., we'll be screening Cycle of Memory, an award-winning documentary about two siblings' bicycle adventure to find the memories their grandfather lost to Alzheimer's. Immediately following the screening, we'll have a virtual Q&A with the filmmaker. Cycle of Memory explores the importance of intergenerational connection, healing painful pasts, and leaving a meaningful time capsule for the future. So families are encouraged to attend this special event together. That famous tune may have you wondering if a pirate's life is for you, but what about the life of a whaler? Come find out when Nancy Gentile and Captain Michael H.M. Taylor Docents from the New Bedford Whaling Museum present A Day in the Life of a Whaler on Tuesday, May 21st at 6.30 p.m. Their presentation will include details about a day in the life of a whaling voyage, the whaling business, and the lives of whaling wives, and a harpoon demonstration. Our book club for kids, Pick Your Poison Book Club, will meet this month on Thursday, May 16th at 4 o'clock p.m. Share a choose-your-own-adventure style book um, there's no need to read ahead because in this club you'll take turns reading aloud and working together to make choices of what comes next. 
For the littlest ones, Bollywood Boogie is a fun group that meets on Wednesday, May 22nd at 1.30 p.m. Join Miss, Miss Rachna to learn about Bollywood and Bhangra music and culture, and to get a few wiggles out while you're at it. Keep an eye out for the rest of our ongoing monthly children's programs, like Reader's Theater, Block Party, Pint-Sized Paint and Sip, and Pause to Read. As for story times, we're moving outside. Tuesday morning Wiggle Worms, best for toddlers, and Thursday morning family story time for families with littles of all ages, will now meet in Quisic Garden at 10.30. Baby time, best for infants and pre-walkers, will continue to meet inside on Wednesdays. Are you looking to finish your school year strong? You have a couple of options for math help this month. Oliver Ames High School student, Puchi Lau, offers 30-minute math tutoring sessions in the library on Saturday mornings. Tutoring is for students in grades five through nine. Sessions are offered on May 11th, May 18th, and May 25th. There will also be a special session with Mathnasium of Easton for students in grades three through 12. Mathnasium tutors will be available on Tuesday, May 21st to help provide math assistance through homework help and math games. Registration is required for all tutoring sessions. And don't think we forgot about you teens. The library has a great roster of programs for teens from ages 12 to 18. A few highlights this month include Teen Tea and Tarot and the Teen Doodle Society. Teen Tea and Tarot is an opportunity for both the curious and the experienced to read tarot, drink tea, and build a journal. Tea, supplies, and camaraderie are provided. Teen Tea and Tarot meets on Tuesday, May 21st at 3.30 p.m. The Teen Doodle Society meets on Thursday, May 23rd at 3.30 p.m. And this is a great place to hang out with other teen artists, participate in drawing challenges, and share tips, tricks, and techniques with each other. No registration is required for these programs. We also invite all teens to TAB, our Teen Advisory Board, in which you can share your opinions, discuss things you'd like to see at the library, and help with service activities if the library is in need. TAB meets on the second Thursday of each month. Beyond these teen-specific programs, teens are also welcome at many of our adult programs. Come share your writing at Fireside Tales, join us for one-on-one -on -one lessons, or presentations and lectures such as The Cycle of Memory or A Day in the Life of a Whaler. Check out Teen Events section of our website to find out about more offerings. In search of an activity for a fun night out with friends, try one of our crafting programs. This month, Design with Dana features sand dollar painting. Drop in any time between 6.30 and 7 p.m. on Tuesday, May 14th to paint a gorgeous beach scene on a sand dollar. And our Library Beaters group meets on the third Monday of every month at 6 p.m. This month's meeting is on Monday, May 20th. No registration is required for either one of these programs. Want to get moving but not sure where to start? Try out Community Qigong from the comfort of your home every Monday and Wednesday at 10.30 a.m. Classes take place on Zoom and are suitable for all levels of ability and any age. And our monthly Tai Chi in the Garden class will take place on Saturday, May 25th at 9 a.m. in the beauty of Quisic Garden. We invite retirees, homeschoolers, storytime families, and all communities to come together in new ways. Join us for Community Connections every Tuesday morning at 10.15 a.m. This informal social hour may include chatting, playing games, crafting, and more. If you're looking for a community of readers and great book discussions, check out one of our book clubs. We have three monthly book clubs for readers of all interests. The Ames Free Library Book Club reads a mix of both fiction and nonfiction titles. There are two meeting options each month, the second Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. and the second Wednesday at 1.30 p.m. The nonfiction book club reads, you guessed it, nonfiction. They meet the second Thursday of each month at 6 p.m. Whether you're more Sherlock Holmes or Jessica Fletcher, put your sleuthing skills to the test with our mystery book club. They meet on the last Thursday of each month at 3 p.m. Find information on all of our book clubs, including our 2024 reading lists on our website. These programs and so much more are available when you visit us at the library at 53 Main Street. We're open from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday through Thursday, 
9 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Fridays, and 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Saturday. You can find us 24-7 on our website at amesfreelibrary.org. Investigators conducted a follow-up search related to the skeletal remains found on May 2nd on Summer Street. The search resulted in the location of additional skeletal remains in the same area where remains were found the prior day. The Office of the Chief Medical Examiner collected the remains for analysis and potential identification. The case remains in open investigation with the Bristol County District Attorney's Office and the Easton Police. At this time, no additional searches of the Summer Street area are anticipated. The Art Co-op is excited to welcome photographer Karen Callen as the next guest artist at the Art Gallery at 50 Main Street in Easton. Karen is a photographer, painter, and graphic designer who graduated from Mass College of Art and Design. Her work has been shown across the region and featured in many publications. Her subjects are diverse and include architecture, nature, abstracts, and documentary projects. She has received grants from the Massachusetts Cultural Council and the Puffin Foundation. Karen works as a magazine editor and graphic designer at a Massachusetts university. All are invited to meet and greet the artist on Saturday, May 18th, 2024, 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. at the Art Co-op Gallery at 50 Main Street. The Art Co-op Gallery features the works of many talented local artists that showcase and sell fine art paintings, photography, jewelry, wood-turned items, handmade baskets, cards, and many gift items as well. Art Co-op Gallery hours are Saturdays from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. and Sundays from 12 to 3. Now it's time for the APCSM Pet of the Week. We have some pets that are looking for their forever home, so let's take a look. This handsome little guy is Dusty. Dusty has very cool markings around his face, including a little dash of brown fur in front of his right eye. In his time here at the shelter, he has been a sweet, loving guinea pig and can't wait to find his forever home. Guinea pigs like Dusty sometimes spend a long time in a shelter looking for a home. So if you or anyone you know want Dusty or any of his friends here at the APCSM, fill out an animal adoption application on APCSM.org. Meet Minnie. This girl is a low rider who might be part hippopotamus. Minnie has seemingly loved every person she has ever met, possibly in her entire life. She's a real people's dog. She will greet you with a big happy smile and a wagging tail. Minnie is admittedly a bit of a couch potato and prefers quick jaunts in the yard or small walks. This low maintenance girl is just waiting to be scooped up. If Minnie sounds like the one for you, fill out an animal adoption application on apcsm.org. The Hockamock Film Festival is back. If you are a high school student in the Hockamock League, the categories are shorts, drama, comedy, or others, documentary, and PSA. Cash prizes for the winner. The deadline to enter is May 13th. To enter, you can go to hockamockfilmfestival.com. Borderland has new spring closing hours. They open daily at 8 a.m. and currently close at 7. On May 12th, they will extend their closing hours to 8 p.m. Just as a reminder, vehicles in the parking lot after closing time may be locked in and subject to a parking fine. Fernandes Lumber and Ace Hardware will be hosting the Easton Egg Fest on May 18th, a day of grilling, tasting, and talking about anything and everything Big Green Egg. There will be refreshments and local music. Effective May 1st through November 1st, 2024, Phase 3 water restrictions will be in place in Easton. For even-numbered properties, watering your lawn will be restricted to Mondays between 5 and 8 a.m. Odd-numbered properties will be restricted to Tuesdays between 5 and 8. These restrictions are needed to comply with the water withdrawal permit and to ensure adequate supply during the construction of the iron and manganese treatment facilities and the rehabilitation of the Bay Road water storage tank. For more information, please visit the link below. When we come back, you'll have your seven-day weather forecast. And find out how you can help send off the OA seniors. This is Easton News. Hi, my name is Fred, and this is Joan. We're with Hi. the Oak Sands Memorial Hall, and we want to tell you about some of the concerts we have. And we've had a number of very popular concerts. Uh, we put on a great show, if I don't say so myself. <laughs> and uh, we have very good food. We have excellent artists, and we really try hard to give you a very good experience. And we are we're especially proud of an upcoming concert, and this is going to be world premiere band. They are very well known locally. They have a great following. And Joan can fill you in on, on more of the details. Yeah, as Fred said, May 11th, world premiere band, 
Doors will open at seven o'clock. They're just fabulous. And from the first note, you'll be up dancing all night. Tickets are $45. Go to oaksaimshall.org to purchase your tickets. They'll be $55 at the door, so please get them up front. Wonderful food, shrimp, charcuterie. It'll be a great night, a lot of dancing. Shoveltown Brewery will be here, and they'll be selling beverages. So we really hope to see you again. May 11th, world premiere band, and it's going to be a great night. Thank and you. Let me say also, in case people don't know, we are a 501c3 nonprofit. These uh, concert proceeds help with with all it takes, which is a lot to uh, keep a 141-year-old building, building going. And we're also a National Historic Landmark. So we are a very significant building. We have the, the hall we're speaking in now has excellent acoustics. So it's gonna be really enjoyable. The, the hall, excuse me, the floor in here is also sprung slightly, which was an old technique. So you wouldn't get, you wouldn't get your knees tired. The floor gives a little when you dance. So we've got all sorts of great features. We've got great food and tremendous talent. So you're going to have a very good evening here. Welcome back, folks. It is that time for your upcoming seven-day weather forecast. So let's kick it over to Chief Meteorologist Adam Carrero. This is your ECAT weekly weather forecast. Friday is mainly cloudy with possible rain overnight. Then we're stuck in a cloudy pattern with most of the weekend in clouds, but Sunday might have peaks of sun, temps stay below average. The work week is partly to mainly cloudy in the beginning of the week, and temps do rise up to average temps. Come midweek, we have another threat of rain. I'm Adam Crow, and this has been your ECAT Weekly Weather Forecast. The town of Easton is working together with Edward Kaizik to perform site inspections on all residential properties within the town of Easton. Edward is a data collector and is authorized by the Assessor's Department to inspect all properties for the purpose of collecting data. Edward will be conducting inspection in the areas currently listed on your screen. If you have any questions or concerns regarding this project, please call 508-230-0520. Like watching this show or any other ECAT programming? Well, that doesn't help without help and support from the viewers like you. ECAD is a nonprofit organization and relies on some help from the viewers. If you would like to help, you can submit a small donation on our website, eastoncat.org, and continue the running of ECAD programming. Just go to the main page, scroll down until you see the donations options, donation options, or the QR code. And as a bonus, when you donate $15 to ECAT, you will get a cat. Not a real one, the APCSM has those, but this nice plush one can be yours with a small donation. Are you ready, ECAT fans? Easton's Got Talent is coming back for another season. That's right, get ready to showcase what talent you have and go head-to-head -head with other participants, not just from Easton, but around the region to see who will be crowned the Easton's Got Talent champion. Email Easton's Got Talent 2024 at gmail.com to register. There is a small registration fee. All towns are welcome. All ages are welcome. Auditions are Monday, June 24th. 
and there is a cash prize award to the top three acts. Help send off the 2024 OA Seniors this year. On May 19th at 11.30, the seniors will have a parade that will go across the north end of town. They will start from behind the OA High School and work their way down Center Street to Main Street, then work their way to the NRT Sheep Pasture across from Easton Fitness. Then they will have their own senior celebration at the Sheep Pasture. Get your running shoes ready. The Children's Museum of Easton's 28th Father's Day Road Race registration is now open. The event will be on June 16th. You can sign up on CME's website and Facebook page through, race, through RaceWire. Cash prizes are awarded to the top three overall male and female runners. First place $150, second place $100, and third place will get $50. A commemorative prize will be given to the top three male and female run, runners in each age category. Free race t-shirts are available for all runners who register on or before May 24th. T-shirts are not available for walkers. The Easton Police Department is pleased to share news of the arrest of four individuals involved in an elaborate theft ring which was responsible for 43 break-ins across 25 towns in Massachusetts. The total property loss from these crimes was over $4 million. This group was ethnically motivated, specifically targeting members of the Asian and South Indian community. One of these thefts occurred in the town of Easton and was investigated by the Easton Police Department. Thanks to the collaboration of many agencies, including Easton Police Detectives, the support the suspects were identified and arrested after a lengthy investigation. The Tricentennial Committee is still looking for volunteers to help out in several areas, so if you would like to help Easton celebrate its 300th birthday, you can email easton300.2025 at gmail.com. Also, visit their website at easton300.org. The Easton Knights of Columbus are seeking applications from graduating high school seniors for their annual scholarships. Each scholarship will be awarded to an applicant who is accepted and enrolled to any accredited college, junior college, or prep school for the 2024-2025 academic year. This includes all institutions of higher learning, including trade schools, as well as certain professional academies. Interested individuals, particularly those related, or related to past or present Knights of Columbus members, are encouraged to apply by letter. Please address all letters to the address below. Now it's time for your weekly OA Sports Recap. Welcome back to your weekly ECAT Sports Recap. Let's get into the results for the week that was May 2nd to the 7th, 2024. On Thursday, boys lacrosse earned a much needed win over the Middleborough Sachems 12 to two. Senior captain Ryan Jaco hit 100 points with his hat trick. Lucas Ganji also scored eight points with half of them coming on goals of his own. On Friday, May 3rd, OA Softball got shut out by the reigning state champs Taunton, 8-0 at Blanche Ames. Crystal Coveth, Taylor Marino, Emily Martin, and Catherine Farley each had hits. Baseball traveled to Mansfield and lost 9-8. Drew Hall hit a home run, and Jake Willard drove in a run and scored twice. Girls lacrosse traveled to North Attleboro, lost 9-7. They led by one at halftime but couldn't finish it as senior captain Taylor McAndrew finished with a hat trick. Girls Tennis lost 4-1 to Sharon at home. Hannah Farber faced a challenge but still won her match 7-6 and 6-4. On Saturday, OA Baseball was shut out by New Bedford 5-0 at home. They only had three hits on the day. Those were the results for the week that was May 2nd through May 7th. Thank you for joining me for this weekly OA Sports Recap. Thank you for watching. This has been Joseph Taft. Jack, what are you doing for Mother's Day? Are you are you treating your mother to anything special? Yeah, I'm gonna take my mom out for a nice nice uh, breakfast. We're gonna go have and spend a nice day together, see some family, see my sister, who's uh, also a mother, a new one. So uh, it'll be great. What about you? That's awesome, man. Yeah, um, I'm gonna be busy becoming the second favorite child. Why is that? Because my sister's getting married. This has been Easton News. <laughs> <laughs>